Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ. Uh, when we're in our second week, we're actually finishing our second week, and it's really exciting because the presentations have offered me personally a lot of learning, and I hope that you're enjoying yourself. If you could add in the chat box where you're from and how you're doing and anything else you'd like to add, feel free to ask questions as we go. The more questions you ask, the more you'll be able to advance and sustain learning. So we want our students to ask questions, and I feel the same way. I think that when we ask, we learn. And when we don't ask, there's nothing to learn because... We know everything, so there's nothing to ask. In order to ask, you have to do something. Otherwise, um, what are you going to ask? So you need to experiment, try things out, explore, and help one another so that we can move forward. So we've got Mexico City. We've got Diana from Canada, my neighbor. We've got Poland. Um, and Mexico, a few from Mexico here I see, and a few people from Poland, Tunis, New Jersey, Hamilton, New Jersey, and India. All right, so as people come in, you can ask them where they're from so we get an idea. And we've got England, Barbados, excellent. All right, so we've got lots of interesting places, and wherever you're coming from, we're here together at uh, the same time. So wherever, if you look at your watch, what time is it? We have different times, and yet we're in the same place. Isn't that amazing? All right, so there I am. These are the presenters. We're Still have a lot of presenters to go. We've had uh, uh, Denmark, Malaysia, so one, two, Cyprus, United States, uh, United States, United States. <laughs> George couldn't make it. He sent an apology letter. Australia, United States, United States, the UK, um, Scotland. Um, and Sweden. All right. And we still have a lot of uh, presenters uh, left to go. A little bit about myself for those who don't know me. Uh, you can find out more about me if you Google my name. Maybe you'll tell me some things that I don't know. Um, I'm known as a relationship based. I believe in relations. I think that relationships between people and connecting is really important. I don't think we're any different. I think we're all the same. Uh, we we're all born and we're all going to go in the same place. So why not connect and um, help one another while we're here and make our lives uh, exciting and easy? So I am um, a community builder. I believe in building so that we can learn together. I use uh, technology. I've been using technology forever, uh, some form of technology. I coordinate a lot of professional development courses for free because I think that, like breathing, um, learning should be, well, it is free, but I think that everything else about learning should be free too. So if you're interested in um, joining me, uh, you're welcome to do that. Today's session is about Moodle and the blocks on Moodle. So we're going to be uh, working on that. Um, I'd also like to inform you that you can get a certificate for the Moodle MOOC, whether you are on Moodle or not. You can take the Moodle courses, but you can just uh, watch the recordings or join the live sessions. The requirements for the certificate are to write a 500-word reflection, create a video of the reflection, and you can get screenshots right now. Get jing up and get a screenshot of everything, of the PowerPoint presentations and so on. Create a short video, share the link of the final artifact, and submit it in one of your Moodle courses, or if you're not a Moodler, into uh, the presentation area. All you need to do is give the title, date, presenter, and um, 
name of uh, the presentation, the other information. Describe the event from your point of view, what you saw, what you heard perhaps. Did you connect with the other attendees or the speaker? If so, how did you connect? And so on. There are questions and you can get this. It's online. Um, there are 12 questions. The last part is create a video, as, as I said, add it to your blog, wiki, or any other group. Share the link in the uh, submission area. And that's it. You may update it as you go. Uh, as I said, I want to show you how we're going to grade you, Tom and I. I hope Tom is here. Uh, let me uh, show you how that's done by screen sharing. Yeah, that's the guidelines. Exactly. If you can hear my voice, because uh, when I first start the screen sharing, everything kind of freezes and it's uh, weird. Uh, and then I have to just uh, accept everything. And you probably see this on YouTube videos so you know what's going on. I have to allow it. And then I can start screen sharing. So let me go into the reflecting. This is the evaluation rubric that uh, Thomas and I will be following. In other words, there are 10 live sessions and you get a um, certain number of points. There are, for everything, you can get 100, okay, by um, following this. I can share this with you so you'll see how it's done. There are 14 areas that you need to do and then you get your final grade. And at the end, you get a certificate. So let me share the link with you. For those that want to view it to make sure that you're uh, getting your certificate and not worrying about anything. Okay, so uh, there it is. There is the rubric that you can follow. So let's get started with the blocks. Now, what in the world is a block? Okay, what's a block? Is it positive? Is it negative? What do you think of when you think of a block? What comes up to mind? Block. One chunk. Chunk. Right. I think of a building block. Anybody think of a Lego? Putting things together. Okay, block. You can also... There are lots of meanings to blocks. What number is this today? Please, please, please can I catch up recordings? Yes, of course. There are 38 presentations, Angeliki. 38 presentations. And you can choose, you can watch the recordings and so on. You have until July 31st. 38 presentations, all you need is 10. All right, so um, I don't know what number this one is. Anybody know what number this is? I would just follow, let me um, share uh, the link with you so you can follow it. Even the link that I shared with you for the presentation, the live presentations are uh, here. Okay. Um, the live presentations are, I think they're here. They're all here so that um, how strange. Oh, I, I just got something. Yeah, the live presentations are here. You can get them just about anywhere. Um, I'm going to get rid of my webcam. If you are having, uh, is it 13 you're counting? All right, but they're 38, so I don't think there should be a, a problem with that. Uh, let me uh, get the link for you of the live presentations. Okay, there is the link, the Google Drive link. So block, when you think of blogs, it's putting things together. Just a little um, review of uh, how to get into the course. This is Moodle. Anybody add the Moodle MOOC? for on the Moodle link. Can somebody add that, please? Very good, Jarek. Blocks are items which may be added to the left or the right. Oh, excellent. They also may on Moodle, exactly. Thank you, Jarek, for adding um, that. Excellent. 
All right, very good. Can you add the link to uh, Moodle, Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ? On, sorry, on the Moodle, Moodle MOOC 4 on Moodle. Anybody add the link there? Okay, I see you have Nevis. Excellent, you're getting really fast. All right, so that's where we go. We can go to courses on Moodle for Teachers, or we can go into Moodle MOOCs, one or the other, or both. And then we're prompted if you haven't joined. How many of you have not, and how many have? Thumbs up if you have, thumbs down if you haven't joined. One of these Moodle MOOC courses, one is Moodle for Beginners, and one is Moodle for Non-Beginners. Okay, if you could just add in the chat box, we get an idea, and those who haven't, um, may wish to get help from those who have and find out how it's done. So maybe you would like to mentor those who haven't. Any thumbs down of those who have not joined a course? If you see a thumbs down, grab the person and let's help. Okay, it looks like everybody has. Keep uh, the thumbs up coming. Any thumbs down? Okay, looks good. Excellent. All right, no thumbs down so far. Okay, so if you once you log in to uh, the website, the Moodle, it's called Moodle for Teachers, Moodle website. This is where we provide free courses. You can go into My Courses. It's right there on the top tab. And then you get your courses. And um, this is it. The warm up for today. So you've got five questions. Question number one. Oh, we've got Angeliki. So we need to help. Anybody volunteer to help Angeliki um, with joining? Angeliki, uh, here is the link. You can join Moodle for beginners or Moodle for non beginners. Very good. Wow, wow, wow. You are getting fast. What am I going to do? Moodle for teachers. Okay, there it is, .org. Excellent. Wow, you're good. Okay, so the link to today's presentation is really important. Notice the information in the link. You've got tutorial. The word tutorial has to appear there. Excellent. Wonderful. Give yourself a star. Okay, that's that's good enough. You know, I'll add that up to 500, but you can have more than 500. But yes, that's fine. I'm not going to, we, we don't fuss over, uh, you know, whether it's 250 to 500, but that that's a good idea. Thank you for that. Excellent idea. Uh, Andrea, I'll do that. I'll make that 250 to um, 500. But no, I don't think it has to be... Uh, by the number. Great, Nevis gave herself a star, excellent. Okay, so next question, number two. Remember, it's the process. And think about the process, because that's what you're going to reflect on, what it feels like, how it feels, what you did in the classroom. What is the link of your Moodle course? So Angelique, you'll have to join a course, and then you'll be able to get it. Okay, Jarek, excellent. So is Jarek in the... Uh, Beginners or non-beginners, 29. You can click on that and see what it is. Okay, so you should have the link to your Moodle course. There are different ways of getting the link. Uh, I think I've showed the, this before. What I do is I click on the right of the mouse to get the information. Remember, the right of the mouse gives you information. The left uh, allows you to navigate. So Anna is in 30. So we've got two courses. One is beginners and one is non-beginners. Jarek, um, if you click on that, everyone, you'll see that Jarek is in the non-beginners. Please make sure that you only join one and not both. Giselle uh, is in 30. Excellent. And Nevis, what is that? Section one. That looks like the next Section one. Oh, you added the section one. That's fine. That's okay. Very good. Very good from Nigeria. Excellent. Question number four. What is the link to the Moodle MOOC 4 on WizIQ? That's question four. 
Very good. We've got Jarek there with the link. Feel free to do, even if somebody got it, you can also get it. Okay, Diana, uh, you got it, section zero. Okay, but it's correct. Even if you have the section added there, very good, Nevis. That's the, and number, see, you're getting much faster, really fast. Number four, uh, what is the link to the Moodle for managers? Ha ha, for managers, okay? It does get faster. I'm gonna screen share here just to show you something here on how to get the link. For those of you that are not sure what's going on, and maybe this is your first time here, so uh, that makes it a bit challenging. Okay, so this is the Moodle course. Okay, I'm going to go to home, okay, and I'm going to um, log out. I just want to show you, even if you're logged out, you can get this information. You don't have to log in. I'm going to go into um, courses here, and I'm going to go into Moodle MOOCs. Click on Moodle MOOCs, and then I'm prompted with the beginners. If I click on the right of the mouse, I can copy the link. Notice that's the trick. Click on the right of the mouse, copy the link. Okay, um, this is the presentation if you don't want to do Moodle, but today is a Moodle day. And here is the Moodle for managers. Click on the right, I get the link. Okay, it's copied. I go back to class and I can share it. Okay, very easy. So let's see if you can do that. You don't need to log in to get uh, the information about the course. So. Question number four, what is the link to the Moodle for managers? There are easy ways and there are long ways that are harder. Okay, so let's see. Maria, very good. Link to managers. If you have a Mac, what do you click? I'm on a Mac. What do you mean, Diane? I, I'm on a Mac. I use a mouse. You mean iPad or something else? I use this little, um, my Mac mouse. Mice. There it is. That's my Mac. You can't use that on something else. There's my Mac. I would not survive without my Mac. Okay, so um, <laughs> right click. Yes, right click. You can configure a mouse to do whatever you want it to do, right? It's not, this has got to be the best mouse around. It really uh, is. It's just, uh, it's amazing. Right click. Much better than any other. It's um, Bluetooth. It's better than these because these are clickable. You need to click, click. And that kind of hurts your shoulder. And I do a lot of clicking. So yeah, the right of the mouse for information. And there it is. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. That's right. That's the one I got too. Okay, so Nevis got it. Click away. That's right. Click, click, click. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Uh, I don't know why they call it anything else. It's uh, integrating clicks into your classroom. It's all about clicking. Very good. Ajari, you got it. What is that? Where are you? I don't think you're in the right place. No, that's not the WizIQ course. That seems to be another course, Moodle for Teachers, Moodle for Administrators, something else. All right, number five. What are the instructions that appear in Moodle for Managers? What instructions are there? Please remember Moodle for is only... Oh, you're doing it, Jarek. Let's see. Do not change the delete. Oh, he just copied. There are the instructions. Excellent. Now, what I'm interested in the video tutorial is to document the process. Okay, so you use your screencast thematic and that's how you document the process. Okay, yes. Um, no, why? Ah, that's right, it'll be accessible on June 21. That's right, it's not open yet, so you can't go in there. You have to get the link outside. Actually, you're in there. You just can't, aren't you? You know you can't. You can't access it be before the 21st. That's right. The first day of spring. Okay, so a teacher with manager rights. Now, what does a teacher get as a manager? Any ideas? You know what it means to be a manager 
of a course. Very good, Andrea. You got it. That's right. It's 32. Um, it gives teachers a lot of power. Very good, Nephis, you got it. Excellent. I think you can go in, but you can't really do very much. That's right. Okay, so let's see. What are some of these rights? Moodle for managers. And what rights are there? Very good, Diana, you got it. It's 32. I'm gonna show you what's there, okay? And then you'll be able to, uh, well, the 21st is next week, okay? So it's time really flies, so it's going to come really fast. So what is number one? Okay, I'm going to give you a chance to uh, take a look and see. What's number one? Okay, number one. Anybody? Number one is a block. Yes, that's right. And what's number five and six? And it's the navigation. Very good, Anna. That's right. It's a navigation block. Number one is a navigation block. And notice the information here. So actually, Moodle has blocks, as uh, Jarek mentioned before, on the left and the right. So number one is a block. It's a navigation block. Number five and six are also blocks. Now, you don't need to add these blocks. As the manager, and you'll have a chance to practice this, you can delete blocks, it, disable them, and you can add them back. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to remove and add, remove and add. Okay, you're going to take apart this Moodle for Managers uh, course. So it's a lot of fun. You're going to have a lot of power. That's okay, Brian. We're online. Uh, <laughs> you can come late. Uh, everything is recorded, but uh, we missed you anyways. All right. So number one, notice the information here. Uh, number two. What is number two? What is number two? I don't see number two. There is no number two. There's number three. Okay, number two is here. Sorry about that. Number two is right here. This is number two. What is this? Anybody know? Well, this is a challenging question. Let me add number two because I, uh, I goofed here. Okay, so this is number two. Okay, sorry for, for getting that messed up there. So what is number two? Let's see what we have. Breadcrumbs. Yay. You've been paying attention. No attentional blinks. Very good. Breadcrumbs. That's right. They're crumbs. That's right. We leave them. Okay. And how do you go? This shows you where we are. We are in Moodle for managers. And if you go from right to left, You'll get to Moodle MOOCs and then My Courses and then Home. So that's how we go. We go from right to left. What's number three? Okay, very good. What's number three? Okay, I'm waiting for your response. Course area. Number three is the course area. Hmm, okay. Anybody else? Courses enrolled. Really? Um, content area, upload the materials. Anybody else? Number three. This is number three, but what is it? This is a tough question. It's a pretty tough question. Courses enrolled, number three. Tabs. Okay, the tabs. So that's right. It's the tabs. You got it, Andrea. That's right. And it's the Moodle lounge area. Nevis is right, too. You're both right. In other words, this is the current tab 
okay and what are tabs they're actually sections okay tabs are sections and a section is a block believe it or not a section is a block uh, let me get a color here so um, okay I'm getting a color I hope there we go okay so this is oh that was pretty okay I should have made that okay so that's um, the Moodle lounge okay this is the Moodle lounge okay this is the tab or the section that we are in okay the next section is the community practice area where you will practice as a manager and then back to Moodle for beginners and Moodle for non-beginners is another section in this course and the name of the course is Moodle for managers okay what's number four this is number four okay so let's add number four what's number four tracker <laughs> I love that tracker that's right it tracks okay this is your progress and here's the question mark this is your progress okay now notice that uh, the lines are not dotted it's a uh, full okay the lines are not dotted so what does it indicate what teachers should do okay your progress the system will track and give you a tick okay and notice here it says unread post we'll talk about that as we go what's number five it could be the teacher it could be the system it's not the teacher the teacher I do not tick anything did you think that Thomas and I tick we do not tick Moodle ticks you think it's the teacher but the teacher doesn't do anything well teacher does a lot of things we respond but we do not tick okay we give grades we do not tick the system ticks it off that's right the latest news is number five it's a block and number six what's six Moodle tracking system ticks when you have complete that's right the requirement that the teacher set up okay we do set it up when you complete a task sometimes the tracker does not have a tick Oh, the tracker always ticks. <laughs> Moodle has an amazing tracking system, Brian. It always ticks. Um, unless I misunderstood you. Online uses last five minutes. Uh, last five minutes. That's right. I can make this 180 minutes. I can make it as long as I want. But in this case, it's only five minutes. Yes, the tracking system. We'll talk about, ask questions, okay, about the tracking system. It's amazing. Moodle does everything for you. You just set it up, your course, and then Moodle takes over. You'll see this, Brian, when you become a manager. Okay, right now you're only teachers in week two and three. Okay, this week is resources. Next week, of course, is going to be a lot of fun because it's the activities. Okay, I love the activities. Okay, so here is, uh, you can see this a little better here. Okay, that's the, uh, the tab or the section for the community practice area. This is back to Moodle. Yeah, you can go into your logs, Brian. That's true, Maria. Thank you. You can go into your logs in your uh, profile section and check your logs and reports and see what you've done so far. Okay, here's your progress again that Moodle tracks. Now, what is this? It's very easy to see now. It's uh, large. Teachers with editing rights see it, and managers also see it. You've got until um, July 31st to make up. It's the edit button, right? And it reminds me of turn the light on, okay? So yes, you have to turn it on if you want to be able to edit. You don't. Now this is the block. Okay, welcome to the block. This is what it looks like. Has anybody ever seen this before? I'm not sure if we have any uh, advanced Moodlers. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you've seen this before. You have excellent. No, I mean this the add block. Okay, add block. Have you seen this before? 
Okay, Maria has Andrea. Excellent. Actually, it's Marla. I said Maria. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thumbs down. You haven't, but some people have. Okay. Excellent. All right. So that this is a lot of fun, but you have to take and keep in mind that some of the blocks are uh, draining to the system. They make may make the Moodle slow. So I um, don't put all the blocks. Some of the blocks I keep out. Uh, because they slow down the system. Okay, so let's take a look at what's on the block. Okay, this is a list of the blocks, quite a few of them. Okay, notice how many blocks there are. And on the left and right, I've broken them down. Okay, so we've got activities as a block. Now, usually activities are draining. They slow down the system. So it's not a good idea to have the activities up there. Activities mean that every time somebody writes or does anything on the, in a Moodle course, it gets uh, registered, and then you see what people have done. Okay, so um, it's draining. Um, admin, bookmarks, blog menu. Have you seen any of these? Blog tags, calendar, comments. How many of these have you seen on the left here? Activities, admin. How many of these have you seen? Okay, make a list of them. None of them? No way. You've seen these. You have seen these. Um, you have used these. Calendar. Um, all of you have seen the blog menu. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to. You have it on your uh, the blog menu. You have seen it in the course because you've added your blog. You have blogged. Okay, so you have seen blog menu. You have seen the comment menu. I know you have because I put it there for you. You have seen, um, what else have you seen? That's all. Okay, that's all you've seen. You've seen, oh, and you've seen activities too, I think. Blog menu and you've seen, um, you might have seen the calendar too. Okay, let's take a look at the right here. Log in. How many of you have seen logged in, mentees, messages, my latest badges, my private files, people, quiz. How many of these, which of these have you seen? Attention blinks. Yeah, don't blink. Um, Guadalupe, you have seen messages. You have, you've used messages. You've seen people. And uh, let's see. Oh, recent activity is very uh, draining. And you have seen blog entries. And you have seen search forums you have seen. Okay, so you've seen these. Okay, now I want to just review the uh, editor of uh, Moodle 2.6. Moodle 2.6 has a new editor. You have never seen this before. It completely new. It they came up with it with Moodle 2.6. And uh, what you need to do is click here. And once you click there, you have three rows. Okay, so take a look at the different headings that you are adding in your Moodle practice area. This is a label. And there are also multimedia. How many of you use Poodle? We're going to have uh, Mr. Poodle present. Jace, Justin, um, Justin Hunt is Mr. Poodle. Justin Hunt uh, developed Poodle for Moodle. And he's an amazing guy. He's actually a, a developer, but he's also an English teacher. He was teaching English for about 18 years. He just stopped teaching high school in Japan. He's originally from New Zealand. Yes, it's called P-O-O-D. And uh, two capital L's. And Justin's going to be presenting, um, I think, next week. Is he? Is he? Anybody know when Justin is uh, on the list? Uh, when Justin is going to present. And he's all excited. Uh, Justin is an amazing person. He's also on Moodle.org. And he provides a lot of answers. I don't know where, how he finds the time. I think that he's one of these people who's online 24-7. I don't think he sleeps. 
but he's got a wife and kids, so um, he's got to sleep sometimes. Okay, there's the link to Justin Justin's uh, presentation on, hello, Eduardo, on Poodle. So Justin's going to be here. I'm very excited because Justin is a very passionate uh, teacher, developer, and a person who cares. So have you tried Poodle? Eduardo has tried Poodle, I know. Uh, this is the microphone, and this is the webcam. You can also add images and uh, try it. It's on every editor on Moodle 2.6, also 2.5. But uh, I have used it. It's a chance to, it's not very clear. There must be issues mm -hmm. with the storm we had in Germany. Oh, sorry to hear that. I thought that Poodle wasn't clear. Okay, so use it. Please use it this week so that uh, you can ask questions, Justin questions, when he starts talking about it. Okay, so please use the mic, at least the mic if you don't want to use the webcam, and see what it's like. Okay. Sorry about the weather there. And you're talking about Europe, are you not? And a urine um, storm wind. Hmm. Okay, that's the editor. And um, adding a label is part of uh, week two and adding the resources. Okay, now about the certificates, are there any questions? Anything you'd like to know? Because um, I have completed um, the information on, no, this is not thank you yet. Are there any questions? Oh, you lost sound? Sorry, Andrea. Uh, maybe refresh your page if you lose sound. Uh, or uh, stop my webcam. If you stop my webcam, your audio will be better. Because what happens on WizIQ is that everybody from around the globe with different internet connection comes together in one class, and that's draining. So if your system is slow, get rid of my webcam. It'll freeze. You won't see anything. But uh, at least you um, will have a faster connection. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, so we're going to screen share now. Let me get rid of my webcam. Easier for everybody. And I'm going to go into the course uh, to give you a tour of the Moodle. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Moodle manager area. Okay, now in order to do that, I need to go in. I'm going to go in as... Um, as a manager. Okay, so here I'm going in as a manager. Now you're all going to get manager rights. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to click on the edit button there. Okay, and then this is what I see. Okay, the edit buttons. Now let me switch role and notice I'm going to go in as a manager because right now I'm in as admin. This is what you will see as the manager, okay? The editing is on. We are in the Moodle lounge area where you can ask questions. You can also go back to your courses through this area, back into your Moodle for beginners or Moodle for non-beginners. And then we're gonna go into the community practice area where, notice, you will practice, but you will remove things. You can practice resources and activities here, if you wish, in the community practice area. But this is where you will be accessing the block. Now, notice the block is on the right. But I can, oh, I see that we've got some people here. 
uh, but I can, uh, here are the blocks, I can put the block on the left. I can choose where to put the block and notice that there are activities as I said all these things. So what you're going to do in week uh, four is you're going to click on a block. For example, let's take um, the people block. Okay, let's add the people block. Okay, I clicked on people. There is the people block. Okay, right here. Okay, now look what I can do here. I can edit by going into actions. I can configure the people block. I can hide the people block. I can assign roles in people block and I can delete people block. Now I'm only going to delete it after I screen share and create my video tutorial. So let's go into configure people block. Okay, this is how I configure the block. Okay, first thing, notice here, I can put it in any area that I want. I can put it on the right, I can put it on the left and play around with it, see what happens. Okay, to the people block. Let's put it on the left. Okay, I can decide where I want it. First, last, in between. Okay, I can make it visible or hide it. I can, on this page or in general, I'm going to put it on the left and I'm going to put it first. Okay, you'll see it in a minute. Okay, and then I'm going to save changes. Right now, you don't see it. Okay, let me save changes, and then you'll see it on the left. And here it is. People. Okay, this is people. I can also move it like this. Okay, I'll move it there. Okay, and this is a lot of fun, moving things up and down. I can also move it to the right or to the left. Okay, so uh, let's put it back here. Okay, I love that option. Notice you hold on to it and you move it there. Okay, it's a lot of fun. You can't put it in the middle. Okay, it won't go in the middle. It'll just go to the right or to the left. Okay, so where to go? I just lost it. So what happens if you lose anything? Well, you'll have to look for it. There it is. Let's bring it up. Okay, I'll bring it up here, so it'll be first. Nope, it's not here. Let's put it up here. Okay, let's play around. There it is. Now, what is it? Again, if I go into this, it's uh, configure it, hide it, and delete it. I'll delete after I play around, okay? Now, I can also minimize this whole area, but I'm not going to because I want it there. Okay, so let's get it back. So what is people? Let's open it up. It's called participants. These are all the people in the course. Now I want you to notice that everyone in the course is here. 138 participants from Moodle for beginners and Moodle for non-beginners. They are automatically added. I also want you to look at the administration because you'll have a chance to go into this as a manager and see what's going on. But don't cha make changes. Just take a look at it. Okay, as the manager, you have a lot more rights than a teacher. So you can go into the administration, course administration, and see what's there. So take advantage of this and play around. Okay, so these are all the participants and I can see who's a manager. So who's a manager right now? Only Nellie, Thomas, and Thomas. Thomas has two identities. Okay, and then let's see, who's a teacher here? Only Thomas is Nellie. And who is a Moodle manager? 138, all of you are Moodle managers. Now what am I gonna do? I'm going to give you manager rights. And how do I do that? Let me show you how that's done.
Okay, right now, these are all the users in the course. Okay, so I can look at all the users. Let me go back here and go into users. Users is the left block. Okay, in the administration, this is a block. So don't get rid of it. If you do, if you want to delete it, you can't actually um, because it won't let you. But let's go into users. Okay, and I'm going to give you, I'm going to change you to managers. Right now, you are not really managers. You are just in here. So let's say, uh, who's here right now? Let's say Percy. Okay, Percy, I'm going to click on plus and I can make Percy a manager. Okay, there. Now Percy's a manager. But this is not going to happen until June 21st. Okay, so I'm going to remove him as a manager. Okay, a real manager. Right now, he doesn't have any rights except as a student. Okay, so that's a little bit about uh, the blocks. You're going to have a chance to do anything here. Just make sure that you do not, whatever you do, uh, bring things back to what they were. Okay, so let's go back to the course breadcrumbs, back to Moodle for managers. Here I am. Okay, so uh, I think you're going to enjoy week four, but first you have to learn about activities and the resources, so you've got plenty of time for all this power that you're going to have. All right, so any questions so far about the blocks, about the presentations? Any questions? About the editor, about week two, the resources. That's okay. Week two and week through overlap anyways because you're in Moodle practice area for weeks two and three. Okay, so you're practicing resources and activities in weeks two and three. Questions, comments? If you'd like the mic, I'll give you the mic too. If you'd like to ask your question. Remember, if you want your uh, connection to be faster, Click on my webcam and it'll say you want to stop, stop, and then it'll be much faster. Okay, any questions about the blocks? Okay, if there aren't any questions about the blocks, we're going to go into the week two resources. That's good, Anna. Anna's added some tests. Okay, so let's go into, uh, I'm going to screen share and uh, take you on a tour again. And this time we're going, let me get rid of my webcam to make things faster. We're going to go into Moodle. Okay, notice how I'm going from here. I'm going to go back into uh, Moodle. Let's see, we'll go into Moodle for beginners for a start. Okay, and then I'm going to go into Moodle MOOCs and into the managers, into the uh, Moodle practice area. Okay, this is the Moodle practice area. I'm sure you all recognize it. I'm going, I have editing on. Okay, and I'm going to go in as, uh, as a teacher because I was in as a manager. Okay, now I'm in as a teacher. You have all the editing. Please do not add test here. Don't add into this area, okay? 
because this is not the practice area. The pra practice area is in the resource practice area. This is where you should be practicing. Okay, right here. This is your practice area only here. Okay, so let's say we've got test. Let's move this out of here and put it in this area. Okay, under Graham. Okay, I'll put it under Graham. Notice what I did. I moved Giovanni there. Okay, there's Giovanni. See, I can move everybody and um, anybody else. So if anybody adds anything here, just move it. You click on this and you can move things. Okay, so let's see. Now we've got the resource practice area and there is the test book one. I don't know whose that is. Is that yours, Anna? Um, if it is, please add. Ah, oh, there's Oliver. Excellent. Uh, go into activity and add a label. Okay, add a label. There it is. Add a label and add your name. So let's see. Anna, I think that's yours. So I'm going to do it for you and then you can play around. Okay, so I'm waiting for the editor. Okay, there the editor is coming up. I'm going to split it into the three. Notice I split here. And then I'm going to go into heading and add Anna's name, Anna. And then I'll give it a color. By the way, there is a... Um, okay, I can also add voice as a label. Okay, there. Hello, this is Nellie. And I just added Anna. Okay, I'll stop. This is how you add their stop. Okay, and there it's getting ready. And it sounds like a chipmunk. Jason. Okay, and I'll add it there. Oh, wow, it's huge. Okay, it sounds like a chipmunk, which means that uh, there's something wrong. Okay, and then I'll save it. And then we have, notice here, um, there it is. There, I sound like a chipmunk. Okay, so I'm going to delete that. It didn't come out good. I sounded like a chipmunk. Okay, but that's the idea. The idea is to go into label, add your name, and then add your work under your name. Okay, so whoever did this book, is it Graham? Did Graham, did Giovanna do it? Okay, write your name and then you can move this to wherever you are. Okay, I'll put it here for now. Okay, if it's yours, Anna, add your label and then uh, you can add the book under your name. Okay, and that's it. So play around. Go into um, activity here and add a resource. Notice the resources are a book file, folder, and if you're not sure, okay, there are seven, okay, resources. If you're not sure about something, you click on it, and then you get the explanation here. If you need more, it'll send you more. And then you click on add, and you can add the resources. Okay, you give it a name and so on, but I don't want to do that right now. So let's go from the breadcrumbs to the resource practice area here. Okay, and that's it. So I hope that has clarified some things. And we'll go back to class. And I see that the connection is really, really uh, draining. And my voice is gone. Wow, it looks like my voice disappeared. It went down to zero. My voice disappeared again. Oh, I hate that. My voice disappeared. How about that? Why would it disappear? Okay. It looks like my voice disappeared again. No, no, no. Yep. It looks like my voice disappeared. Yes, it did. It keeps disappearing. Well, my voice is back, but it disappeared. Okay. It must be some kind of a bug somewhere. All right, sorry for the disappearing voice, but this is going to be uploaded on YouTube so you'll be able to get everything there. Sorry about that. It disappeared again, but it's back. All right, so um, 
Are there any questions about anything? Yeah, I think it's a bug with the. It's not with IQ. It's with the screen uh, sharing device and my Mac, because Macs don't like don't go too well with um, Java and Java specifically. No, it's not with IQ. No. Any other questions um, and comments? Feel free to add them uh, in the support forums and on WizIQ in the course feed for the course. No, it's not the Mac. It's uh, Macs don't like um, Java and they don't like um, Flash. So Macs don't, Apples don't like Java and they don't like Flash. Yes, that's true. Okay, Anna. So Anna, was that your book? Uh, t your book was it really yours? So you just need to go into label. Okay, remember label. After label, you add your name, and you can add it as a heading so it's large. Oh, uh, hello, Johan. And then what are you going to add after that? You're going to add your resources under your name. Okay, so that's basically, but I think Kirsten, you finished week two. Well, at least you finished the, um, the video tutorial for the resources. The Moodle police are annoyed. They made a midnight raid last night and saw that many participants haven't removed their work, including Dr. Nally. Yes, that's true. That's true. So, Please remove your work once you, uh, Kirsten, since you've already done your tutorial. I have not done my tutorial yet. But those of you who have done your tutorial, you are invited to remove your work from the uh, resource practice area. That's great, Brian. I hope you documented that. Oh, the book is yours, Maria. All right, so Maria, could you please add um, a label? You need to add everything. You need to add all the resources, okay? So you need to add the label, an example of a label, which is your name. You need to add um, everything under the resources, okay? And I wanted to share, um, if those of you did not see it, to share the uh, questions for the reflections. So let me do that now. Okay, and um, here they are. Okay, again, notice that all you need to do is share a link. Okay, that's all you need to do. No more. Just share the link in the uh, assignment area. And that's it. You're doing a wonderful job. So keep up the great work. Excellent. Excellent, Brian. Did you get um, a tick in the box? Did Moodle tick the box for the resources? No. Well, you should, it should be graded. Okay, we are grading it and then um, Moodle ticks it. Yes, exactly. Watch this recording and then reflect. Okay, so uh, Angelique, you're new. Okay, but the requirements are right here. You uh, reflect and you share the link and then you submit. Okay, and these are the questions. You can get these questions and everything uh, right here. This is how we're going to be doing it. So uh, there's the link. And that's it. So uh, enjoy. We're finishing uh, week two. We'll be starting uh, week three in a couple of days. So um, enjoy. 
Yeah, the final day is July. That's right, July 31st. Okay, you have until July 31st. But on July 31st, um, 